Angelina Jolie has girl crush on Long Young. Does Angelina Jolie have a girl crush on Long Young? A tabloid is trying to sensationalize their relationship into something scandalous. Gossip Cop can explain what's going on. Jolie's film, First They Killed My Father, is based on Young's memoir of the same name about living in Cambodia under the Khmer Rouge regime. The two women first met more than a decade ago while the actress was on a humanitarian mission in Cambodia. They struck up a friendship and, years later, Jolie suggested adapting her book into a film. The movie was released through Netflix in September to critical acclaim. Due to the project, the pair spent a lot of time together over the last few years and particularly during the last few months as they've promoted the work. And now the National Enquirer is twisting their longtime friendship for the sake of a salacious story with the headline, Angie's Girl Crush Saves Her Life. The piece begins, sad and single Angelina Jolie has been brought back from the brink of death by snuggling up to a woman. Of course, the star was never actually on the brink of death, and she and the married on don't snuggle at least not in the context the gossip magazine is suggesting. But the outlet contends, a once distraught Angie has given up on trying to win back estranged hubby Brad Pitt because a massive girl crush on collaborator Long Ung has her completely sidetracked. The implication is that Jolie has switched her romantic sights from Pitt to Ung. Of course, Jolie was never trying to win back Pitt, though and she hasn't been sidetracked from anything by a massive girl crush. The publication acknowledges that Ung is betrothed, but tries to scandalize the time she spends with Jolie. Angie has grown to love and rely on Long, a so-called spy is quoted as saying. She says she gets her like no man ever did, even Brad. It's like they're joined the hip. As the tabloid babbles on about how Jolie and Ong's friendship has grown much, much deeper over the years, the supposed source even claims, it's as if she's taken Brad's place. The magazine further asserts that after Jolie's purported call for a reconciliation went unanswered by Pitt, Angie had to look elsewhere for comfort. In an attempt to add credence to its story, the outlet peppers the article with real quotes from the star, such as Jolie's comment on how she doesn't enjoy being single. But that doesn't mean she's striking up a romance with them or that there's any inappropriate about their relationship. They are, in fact close and her kids to refer to the war survivor as Andy Long, as Vanity Fair reported in its Jolie cover story back in July. Still, the only reason Lung has been a near-constant companion to the actress, as the National Enquirer puts it, is because they've spent the last six months promoting the film. Nearly every photo featured by the tabloid was taken at a professional industry event, such as the Hollywood Film Awards last month, see picture above. The magazine is deceptively spinning the women's longtime friendship, work collaboration and mutual admiration into something that it's not. And this isn't the first time the publication has gone this route, falsely claiming more than a year ago that Jolie was back with her gay ex. Jolie has dated women in the past, but there's nothing romantic going on with one now.